Hello boys and girls, chipmunks and squirrels. This is Bone Fox with you with another episode of Alice Return to Madness. What the How do I I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um What 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 do I do? Oh, I break that. <laughs> it didn't seem like I was doing any damage. I thought I was missing something. Ooh, here we go. A little deeper into the forest we shall go. Where we land, no one shall know. Okay, so this gun actually has a fairly good range. beast. That was minor reproductive uh, predictability on my part. I figured that I was a few hits away from having something lunge at me, so I knew I needed to move quick. Okay, forget this. It seems that that wave is fairly unending. I kind of like how that screen zooms in like that, but it is also mildly obnoxious. There we go. All of them be dead. Ooh, okay. Pathway? Nope, not pathway. There we go. Get rid of this hive. Finish it. Finish it, you fool. Stupid flying bolts. Rainbow snails. Rainbow snails. More teeth than you can possibly imagine. It's a cow turtle. Okay. That makes sense. struck me well. Okay, so the pepper launcher is not timed, but it does have a limited amount of uh, stuff. Uh, oh, wait, it's a time thing, not an ammo thing. Um, I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. I don't know where I'm going right now. This is not necessarily a good thing. And let's get rid of this while we're at it, just so all these things are dead. Keep an ear out for snacks. Uh, oh. Okay, I completely missed that snout over there. Sneeze, you giant flying snout. I would skip those, but I, I can't help but feel that it might be good to know what it's unlocking for me. There we go. One for the money. Two for the show. three to take me to that golden tooth of whatever it is. And away we go. And I screwed that one up. Crap. 
little too froggy there. Little too froggy. What are these? I don't know what those things are. Oh well. Probably not relevant to anything whatsoever, but whatever. It's one of those things, you see something odd and you're like, ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's magic in the air. Uh, what's this? Oh my. Don't know how many people out there watch Robot Chicken, but... That's all I can ever think of nowadays when I see, like, Nightmare Before Christmas is their spoof of it. Uh, come on. Once more a feeling, Alice. There we go. That wasn't too bad. But there's a lot of goo here. Is Alice crying goo? Slithering rune. I like how there isn't actually ammo. I don't know what those things did, it just seemed like a really bad idea to let them get close to me. One of those things that makes you think, well, this could probably be a really bad idea. Okay, so not overly dangerous, or I may have just missed the dangerous part by getting lucky and popping them once. They're probably those kind of mobs that do incredible damage. Yeah. And yet a little more darker. How much more darkness can this place take before it gives in? Crap. <laughs> I could have made it. Geysers of doom look terrible. Okay, so their their signal is they'll start spouting out that fire out of their back. Okay, well that makes sense. Time to die, you silly, crazy doll faces. Take it out! Take it out! Ata! Something kind of odd. Hollow fuzz. Because it does gather these pearly whites. Or the pearly gates. <laughs> Use the choppers and whooping. Okay. That's kind of cool. So I can use the uh Hundred and fifty teeth for a Vorpal Great. Sure. Okay. So they are currency. Not my weapon. Now my blade is faster. 
this disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. So getting these... Click the button. Click the cheese. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. I'm not a big fan of platformers myself. Primarily because I do a really poor job of judging distance with them. Now it's gotten easier with the uh, upgraded like technologies that we're dealing with, but... Okay. With the new, uh, with the uh, better technologies that came out throughout the years, platforming's got a little bit better. Damn, that's scary. Scary! But I'm still not particularly, like, I'm not a savant when it comes to uh, platformers. <laughs> not bad at melee combat, though. I don't know why, that black slide thing looked really dangerous. Break the barrel. Teacup goblins. Madcap. Okay, so that's dangerous. You... You are not cool, dude. Haha. <laughs> I have butterfly teleportation powers. He has a speed. The other ones have forks. I wonder if he has a different attack pattern than the other ones. Though. He has a shield. Uh, Alice can dodge enemy attacks. Where is this? Okay, so. There we go. <laughs> this is interesting music that they're playing. Those things definitely have a uh, interesting attack pattern. Ha 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 ha! Well, if you just keep them pinned into a corner, their attack patterns become very much irrelevant. But this guy's it is okay. So the spoon guys do have a difference. They don't do the charge. Those two together are quite formidable. You need to die. Damn it. Wasn't the best. I'm almost out of my roses. My madness is fracturing. My sanity is fracturing. Not entirely sure. <laughs> that looks scary. Looks like something next will be mechas. Mechas. Okay, animes. Not a big fan of mecha animes myself, though. I've always been more of the fantasy genres, like Slayers. Where to go? Try sh using shrink. Girl. Huh. That's kind of cool. Oh! 
That is cool. I did not realize this. But apparently these things are <laughs> the equivalent of a health station. That's what I get for not paying attention. Well, let's get us some health healer real quick, guys. So, for all those that are actually watching, tell me, what sort of animes do you all enjoy? If you enjoy animes at all. If you don't, cool. If you do, I would like to hear what kind you do. Personally, I've always been a fan of, like, the sword fighting ones, like Aroni Kenshin, the, uh, bigger hitting ones, like... Uh, slayers. I don't know if this will disappear once I get. <laughs> it could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook died, didn't he? Doctor nope. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Whoa. Mr. Dickens. That's. That's a crazy place. Mr. Pig Snout, I would like you to eat a Gatling pepper gun. And there's a passage. Shoot the snouts, reveal the passage. Okay, so those things do some kind of lungy jumpy thing. Okay. Though I am a really big fan of uh, Ranma One Half, for all those who have seen it, amazing. I really wish they had actually continued it, especially towards the end because they started getting a little bit more serious and started being a little less spoofy. And the more serious aspect of it, I thought was really cool. But I mean, the spoofiness of it was something that made it really awesome. But for those of you who haven't seen it. The uh, basic concept behind it all is there's this martial arts boy that's been raised to be a man among men. And he's been raised purely by his dad while on a training trip, and his dad's a chauvinist pig. But he gets a curse that whenever he splashes with cold water, he'll turn into a girl. Whenever he splashes with warm water, he'll turn back. And his dad has one that turns him into a panda. That is the main. Almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. I agree with that very much. Different is not necessarily good nor bad. It's just not the same. That was probably a less than stellar entry. But now we're in. Yeah, it's a... Uh, so it's about his story as he goes through things. And his dad has got him engaged to a girl. Uh, which he has decided all of a sudden that uh, something's... Turning valves, okay. Hmm. Okay. That's kinda cool. Oh. Almost missed that one. And when a burst of steam blew your dress up around your neck. <laughs> Just outside hands it was. Unfortunate your undergarments had been laundered. Let's turn a valve. Oh. Gutsy little goblin, aren't you? I 
I don't want to go falling off the edge trying to kill you, so... I could probably make it to that, but I don't think I actually need the health. Okay. There we go. I'm starting to get the hang of the uh, switching through my targets. Though I guess technically I'd be better off if I didn't use the locking system. Well guys, I think we're going to call it f here. I hope you enjoyed. And let's hear what kind of animes you all enjoy. Or movies, I mean, if you don't like animes, movies, cartoons, whatever. This is Bone Fox 8, and see you later. Peace out.